You might probably be wondering why the countdown started at 10, 26, 22. We're not yet 22. We're still at 21, guys, right? Doesn't this mean that they're actually predicting the future or planning something big in the future? All I can say is that SB19 might actually be planning to held a mind blow. What is up? What is up? What is up, y'all? It's your boy Casual Chuck back again with another video. If you're new here, welcome. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss more casually awesome content like this one. Especially this one because this is the official breakdown of Bazinga Music Video. My official breakdown, that is. All right. You guys all know that I like playing detective. I did my research, asked around people, and I have collected a bunch of mind-blowing theories that will make you go Alright guys, before we finally start, I want to give a huge shout out to Mang Jose for managing the Discord server. You are the best, MJ. And also shout out to BB Panda because he had a lot of insights in making this video. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and wear the detective glasses. And cue the detective music. Much better. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. So at the first scene of the video, there's nothing much special going on. They were just sitting there hanging out together, playing video games, eating popcorn. So nothing much I can say here. Let's go ahead. Of course, Pepsi is their sponsor. That's uh, really cool. Now in this scene, there's a lot of stuff going on. Let me go ahead for a little bit. Let me start with the most simple stuff and gradually towards the more mind-blowing stuff, okay? So you can see here a PlayStation 4. It's actually the older version of PS4, the fat one, which is pretty cool. And right here you can see Nintendo Switch, Pikachu, and Eevee Edition. Most likely Justin owns this but we never know all right you can also notice pepsi right there that's their sponsor obviously ken eating popcorn the tirador of popcorn <laughs> now here's the mind-blowing thing guys i've also seen this theory in tiktok so the theory is that pagsibol ep has six songs right but here in this scene there's a total of nine game discs lying on the table as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are three new songs coming. <laughs> a bit of a reach, guys, right? But let's go ahead and ride that theory because I found even more mind blowing stuff that connects to that. As you can notice, there are only three games that are visible. The first game is, let's zoom in here, Nintendo Labo Toy Con 04. Now, this game allows you to build toys or tools using cardboards and you're able to play with it in the VR environment of Nintendo Switch. It's pretty cool, pretty expensive. The second game is Crash Bandicoot. It's an adventure platformer game and that's pretty cool, right? And then the third game that is visible here you might be thinking that it's an nba 2k game it isn't it's actually a wwe 2k20 game it's a fighting game more specifically a wrestling game the main reason why i'm telling you this is that this three games might actually be describing the next three songs first nintendo labo right this game is all about creativity and building your own world in a different dimension, in the gaming dimension, the VR dimension. So that song might actually be all about that kind of setup. 
Next, they might be releasing another song more inclined to adventure, like setting out your path, discovering the world on your own, and just enjoying the wonder of mystery all over the world. So that's what Crash Bandicoot is all about, okay? Conquering bosses as well. And the last one, WWE, SB19 might be up to something and they might be making a fighting song, a walkout music of Manny Pacquiao, right? But Manny Pacquiao is not fighting anymore. This could be used on other fighters that are popular right now, like Quadro Alas or Janriel Casemiro or Edward Folayang of MMA. It's not far from happening, guys. I'm telling you, I have a good feeling about this. All right, guys, in this scene, as you saw in my previous video, I noticed the accessory that Stell is wearing, right? This accessory is actually an Indian accessory, most commonly worn by people who are about to be married. Could this mean that Stell has a partner and is soon to get married? I don't know, guys. It's up for you to think about it. All I'm saying is that it's just a theory. All right, let's move on. All right, guys, on to the next scene. As you can see, Stell, Justin, and Josh preparing something, or so it seems, on the table. Let's go ahead and take a look at the more obvious things first. Well, it's not going to be obvious until you do this. Okay, so you will be able to see the what flag right here. Obviously, right? And there's the what written as a graffiti. And then... As you can see here, there's the word mana in here. Now, why is mana written here? Well, obviously, it's one of their songs, right? But you will see more mana references here, and it's actually even more mind-blowing, guys. And as you can notice, Josh is pointing something explicitly here on the map. Let's go back to the video. See? He's pointing. So as you can see here on the other angle, this is what we see. Now there's a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff, guys, okay? So let me explain this to you. Let's go ahead and uh, lighten up the image first so that we'll be able to see clearly. That's a little bit better. Okay, we are able to see the map even clearer this time. Before we go ahead and start zooming in, Let's go ahead and notice the two clocks, the two giant clocks, right? If you go out and look closely, they are actually both on the same face. So basically they are on the same time. And if you take a look at even more closely, the time is 3, 35, 39. Those numbers don't make sense, right? But if you actually think deeper about it, right? There's two clocks, so why don't you add both times? Three hours, 35 minutes, 39 seconds. You add them together, it becomes seven hours, 11 minutes, 18 seconds, right? And if you start adding them together, seven plus 11 is 18. What could this mean? 18 and 18? They only expected normal support, but they actually got two folds of support because we really support them so much. That could be one meaning. So here's the mind-blowing thing here, guys. In the Bible, the book of Acts is the first book when arranged alphabetically amongst other books. And Acts chapter 2 verse 35 to 39 reads, Until I make your enemies your footstool. It's a long verse. I don't want to read the entire thing. Basically, the whole set of verses is all about getting back to your enemies. And enemies having to ask for forgiveness to the people they have done wrongful things to. Isn't that what Bazinga is all about, guys? Mind-blowing, right? <laughs> I'm not even done yet in this scene, guys. Earlier, I mentioned that Josh was pointing at something very specific on the map. So let's go ahead and dig into that further. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip the map like that. All right, like that. And then let's make it a little more defined so that we'll be able to see clearly. And what you can notice is the map of the Philippines. Where was he pointing? Right here. He was pointing right here, right? Because as you can notice earlier, this thing right here, this, this, what do you call this? This bulge of paper, right? That's where Josh exactly was pointing. And if you go back to the screenshot, this is where the bulge is. This is the exact bulge he was pointing to. And it's very close to these islands, right? And do you know what these islands are? So Josh was basically pointing somewhere up here, up north, these islands. 
And what the hell are in these islands? Babuyan Islands, right? Hold that on your thought, guys. I'm not done. So he was basically pointing in the Babuyan Islands. What's the relevance of that? You might probably be wondering why the countdown started at 10, 26, 22. We're not yet 22. We're still at 21, guys, right? Doesn't this mean that they're actually predicting the future or planning something big in the future? All I can say is that SB19 might actually be planning to held a concert in an island together with 18. Consider the circumstances right now. It's the pandemic. What's the safest way to have a concert in a secluded area where they can make sure that people there are only the ones who are safe? Isn't that gonna be cool, guys? 10, 26, 22. SB19 anniversary concert with 18. Mind blowing, right? Can absolutely look badass right here. And the closest resemblance to this is Venom Snake from Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain. Makes sense, right? Okay, guys, next scene is the chain link cage. So obviously, Pablo and Josh standing inside the cage. And this symbolizes their insecurities, their own internal battles, and the haters that are putting them down. And later to the scene, they're able to break through the cage, which symbolizes that they've had enough and it's time for them to fight back. And this scene is obviously familiar to most 18. This is actually paying homage to one of their first music videos videos in Alab. Do you remember this scene, guys? Same exact scene, right? Let's keep going. And also, guys, in the same scene where they were dancing, one of the steps in the word gasolina looks like this. And that's exactly how a petrol gun looks like, right? And that's what I like about SB19. They don't just use moves because they look cool. They use moves because they mean something. And the next scene, obviously, is Dusty's debut. This is Pablo's motorcycle, Dusty. And he has taken this motorcycle to the ends of the world. <laughs> we don't know how far, but Pablo has been around wandering with this motorcycle. All right, guys, let's keep going. On to the clown scene. This is actually one of the most mind-blowing details in the music video, guys. Okay, let me show you why. First, this scene exactly looks like the frame with Hisoka in Hunter x Hunter. Pretty cool, right? And take a look at this Joker card Josh is holding. This is one of the strongest mana references in the music video. Let me show you something. So before the music video got released, SB19 official posted this card on Twitter and it drove 18 nuts. So let's listen to Josh's line here, the lyrics itself. Clown! Who's the boss now? I just turned the world upside down. All right, who's the boss now? I just turned the world upside down. What if we start following that? Let's flip this thing upside down. Nothing special, right? Now, towards the end of the music video, there's some kind of a doorway or a gateway or a portal, right? Leading to a different world, I would assume. And most of the time, the other world is just a mirror of what they have, but completely opposite. What if we do that, guys? Hang on tight, guys. And take a look at what happens if I do that. What do you guys see? I will let that sink into you guys. What do you see in the picture? Isn't that obvious? That's a freaking flying manananggal right there. Okay? Mind blowing. Holy crap. <laughs> Okay, if that isn't Mananangal, then I don't know what that is. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so after that scene, we come back to the table scene together with Justin singing the pre-chorus. Let's check it out. <laughs> Wait, it's not supposed to focus there. My camera is busted, guys. Sorry. <laughs> So let me go ahead and show you something. Let's brighten the image. There's actually something written here right beside the Watt flag. I bet most of you guys missed it. If it's not clear enough for you, I'm gonna make it even clearer by doing this. Isn't that clear enough? 10, 26, SB19 anniversary. All right, what else are we missing? Nothing else aside from the bulge? <laughs> Let's keep going, guys. This was the scene I was supposed to show you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is actually obvious. I feel very bad for missing this because this was actually the day when their go up dance practice video 
was uploaded. And if you can also see the coordinates is labeled as S and B, basically SB19. This was written as if they were coordinates because this is what led them to their success, paving the path for them. Awesome detail right there. Let's keep going. All right, guys, let's take a look at Pablo right here, okay? So the background is super sick. The graffiti of SB19 is there. If you can notice, there's actually a crown on top right here. That symbolizes that they're the P-Pop kings, okay? It's pretty obvious, guys, right? You can also see the word mana right here. I actually mentioned that earlier. And right below is 18 in color white. And we have a halo right here because SB19 sees us as their angels. So sweet, right? Look at Pablo right here. He looks so good, guys. Take a look at his trench coat. He actually resembles a lot like Gambit. Take a look at how he throws the paper right here. Right? Super cool. And right here, it transitions into SB19's own version of the superhero walk. Let's take a look at it, guys. Bro, that's sick right okay and suddenly it transitioned into a circus type of setup obviously we got to lay our eyes on josh's six pack <laughs> all right let's keep going obviously as you can see here pablo's doing the hajime no Ipo reference the dempsey roll And right here, guys, in this scene, Pablo looked like a cyberpunk robot. Nothing special going on here, really. Because if you go ahead and flip it horizontally, right, like what I'm doing here, it only shows the lyrics of his line. You're lucky because I overdid it, had to say that too. It's right here. And the word Bazinga, the word Upload, and their logo SB19. Nothing special going on, guys. Let's keep going. And Mob Psycho reference, defibrillator, obviously. All right, and this scene, guys, is another mind-blowing detail so ken is basically upside down exactly if you can notice the color palette have you guys been watching netflix yeah you saw that this is definitely a reference to stranger things okay stranger things has this other realm called upside down where everything is mirrored and that's where the mind flayer resides which is the main enemy of the show and in this music video they're setting their path into that dimension that's where the mana music video is going to happen in the upside down okay take a look at ken he's holding a baseball bat and what's the other meaning of the word bat it's the animal that can fly and that resembles a lot like a mananangal guys so obviously mananangal is definitely next i'm 100 percent sure of that okay in this scene this was the build up towards the last chorus guys as you can notice there's a map a world map okay it's hovering somewhere in europe but when ken's shot came in it focused in one specific country, Hungary. Where is the MTV European Music Awards happening? Let me show you. It's happening in Pap, Laszlo, Budapest, Isputarena. And what country is that? Budapest, Hungary. Mind blowing. <laughs> Does this mean that they're actually going there? And there's another information here, guys. Expected delivery time, three days 12 hours is this the amount of time before their flight guys we don't even know they might already be there we know guys that sb19 likes to surprise us and i think they're really up to something all right let's go all right and this scene right here is actually a reference to the furious five of kung fu panda do you remember guys the tigress the mantis the monkey that's them okay they're just being playful and using kung fu panda as a reference all right guys in this scene towards the end of the movie we can see there are red ribbons tied all over the shin or tibia and this is tied to pablo's love to poetry if you're a real sb19 fan you should know that pablo is also a poet there's a possibility that he's a fan of julia and more because she has a poem called red ribbon and the main meaning of the poem is all about men who dare to do right and sb19 are a group of men who dare to do right you can pause this video and read the poem it's pretty cool and amazing and it just describes sb19 as they are <laughs> okay it's pretty obvious let's keep going and the last number reference here is super obvious guys that's 18 
and 19 for SB19. Because the zeros here actually means that there will be no SB19 without 18. Super sweet, okay? Alright, as you can see, the Ken is actually murdering the popcorn. <laughs> And the last Easter egg here are a bunch of bats coming out as the video ended, which is just a nail in the coffin. That Mana music video is coming. Okay, that was it guys. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my theories and other details. Um, if I missed more details, let me know down in the comments below. I would really appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really love SB19. They're one of the best artists I've ever known, especially locally. I think they're the number one artist. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't yet, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss more casually awesome content like this one. And make sure to smash that like button because you know what I like on my side? It's the algorithm. Talk to you in the next one. Peace out.